for Lynn here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how you can make flu remedy aka Kenyan Dawa. Any flu issues that you may have or during the cold season or any time that you feel you want to relax your body and relax your mind. So join me and let's see how this goes. Welcome. So the main ingredient, lemon, we have ginger and I'll advise you to use organic ginger, don't use powdered ginger. The organic ginger brings better results compared to the powdered ginger. And then we have honey and then we have water. So the main ingredients that you need to make this, uh, this remedy is honey, ginger, lemon and water. So I'm going to start by peeling my ginger and then I boil it in the water. So I'll start peeling the ginger. Make sure you wash your ginger because most of the time ginger will be a bit dirty when you buy it. And also wash your lemons. So I'm going to peel my ginger. Usually I use a spoon. I like using a spoon to peel ginger as compared to using a knife. So I will peel my ginger like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm using my spoon to peel ginger. You can use any amount depending on what you want. So I like using a spoon to peel my ginger so that I don't remove a lot of chunk of the ginger. It's very healthy. So there you go guys, my ginger is completely peeled, so I'm going to use this to grate it here, I'm going to use this, I hope you can see what I'm doing, if you have a mortar and pesto you can design to use it, but I prefer using this because it's gives you very fine ginger I hope you can see inside.
So I'm done with the ginger. Uh, before I started, I had heated my water in this jar. So I'm going to put it here. The water was at boiling point. I heated the water until it boiled. So I'm pouring the water here and then I will heat again. You can still put cold water and allow it to heat. But for the purpose of this video, because I didn't want to take so much time, I decided to heat the water and then I just boil it again so that way it will heat faster. I think that is a good quantity. I don't add more water. So there you go. I'm going to put on my cooker. As my ginger water boils, I'm going to work on the lemons. You can see I have these big nice lemons. I'm going to slice them into two. I'm going to slice them into half. I need to extract the lemon juice. So I'm going to use my juice extractor here and squeeze the juice. I want you to see what I'm doing. I hope the pot is not blocking it. So I'm using my juice extractor to extract all the juice from the lemons. lemon peels to, to soak into the ginger so that the water can absorb all the nutrients from the lemon peels. That is why I'm allowing it to boil for a longer period of time. So my mixture is boiling. I'm going to put it up now. I believe it has boiled enough. And I'm going to sieve it into this jug. I'm going to sieve it here. And we use my napkin to hold the bowl. And then I will sieve everything here. I 
motif is a bit small I don't want the pills to fold inside the mixture everything there here is my mixture of the ginger and the lemon peels I'm going to add my lemon juice to it I'm going to add I'll sieve it as well to remove any seeds that may have entered into the juice, any lemon seeds that may have entered into the juice. I allowed the mixture to boil for a long time, that is why you see the water has reduced so much. So you can as well, if you want to, you can add more water into the pills, boil it and add into your mixture if you want more, more, mm -hmm. more remedy. So I have added everything there. Then I'm going to add my honey. The reason we don't add the honey to the boiling water is because the heat, the heat from the water is going to it's going to remove the, the taste of the honey and the honey will not be as sweet and it's also the same reason that we do not add the lemon juice to the boiling water we'd rather add the pills into the boiling water so i'm going to add my honey You can add the amount of honey that you want. There's no specific amount that you should add. You can also test to check if it gives you your desired results. If not, you add more honey. guys remember this remedy should be taken while hot or warm so i'm going to put it in my thermal cup so that even when i go out i can still drink it or i can drink it throughout the day so i pour it into my thermal cup there you go i poured it into my thermal cup I closed it the rest of the mixture is going to be poured into this glass so that we can taste and see how it came out and then for this I will close it like this So I'm going to taste it and I'll tell you how our ginger, lemon and honey mixture tastes like. Wow. This is so nice. It's so nice and relaxing it just makes you feel so relaxed you know it's 
so so nice guys it came out so nice i can take this anytime whether the weather is hot cold or warm because it is so soothing and relaxing the taste of the ginger came out so well i can still feel the taste of the lemon it's so nice and i can still sense the honey in the mixture it's so so nice so that is how you make kenyan tower if this is your first time watching the video subscribe to my channel please try it and let me know how it comes out